Michael Saylor's statements become crazier by the day. I do like Bitcoin. I do like to save in Bitcoin. I think it's a good long-term investable asset despite all the volatility. But when I hear Michael Saylor talk, it seems to me that Bitcoin has become his religion, basically. Let's look at this together. Ultimate humanitarian act. Put all your money in Bitcoin, die with your keys because you know for sure, you have actually made a pro rata distribution to the virtuous. Really, the best thing as a human you can do is to simply use your purchasing power in order to distribute it to the existing Bitcoin holders. I have my strong doubts here. Improving the world means helping the people in need. It means growing a family, taking care of the next generation. Maybe it's even things like improving the environment or bringing innovation forward. Bitcoin is simply just stored capital, but the stored capital still has to be used for something. The US dollar is worth nothing on a deserted island. So is a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a great savings technology to protect against government overreach, to protect against inflation, to have something to save in without being exposed to any kind of third party risk, right? Without being exposed to company performance, without being exposed to a highly levered property market, without being exposed to the new mining of gold, right? Gold inflates still relatively quickly. Bitcoin does not. The mining is slower than the rate at which Bitcoin gets lost. So for those reasons, Bitcoin long term makes sense. But it's always very dangerous to become religious about any investment. We see this very often in the altcoin market, people pushing the one and only best coin. But it's all just about capital allocation. It's all just about making the best risk versus reward choice. Don't get married to any single investment, to any single investment class, and especially don't make them your religion. This is likely going to end up pretty badly. I hope that Michael Saylor is set up in a way with MicroStrategy that he's not over levered, that he never needs to get forced liquidated. But I'm not even sure that the kind of statements he's currently making is really helping adoption. They're becoming more and more extremist and the people that cheer him up that are already Bitcoin maxis, they get confirmed in their belief. But people that are on the edge that are just considering to invest, they might actually be put off by things like this. Let's all stay rational. Let's all make the best decisions at any point in time with the information that we have. But let's not become too radical about any opinion. Anybody can always be wrong. There's always uncertainty in any investment. So please spread your risk across different asset classes, even if you're in the safest of all the cryptocurrencies, still have money in stocks, still have money in property, maybe in precious metals. Make sure that you never get completely wiped out because of a single bet that you've made.